Hello guys, today we're going to review the movie Apag, directed by Brillante Mendoza. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when new content comes out. Did the Food Network sponsor Apag? It seemed like every 5 minutes or so, we were treated to a shot of a well-curated dish that is sure to make the audience salivate. If there is one phrase that could be perfect to describe Apag, it would be feast for the eyes. I am sure many a person who watched this movie went home hungry or eager to try to make the dishes they saw in the movie. The movie looked like a gastronomic promotion for the province of Pampanga. Long reputed to be the best cooks in the Philippines, the Kapampangans or the people of Pampanga were given by APAC a great platform to show off their culinary skills. And with what I saw, it looked like the average Kapampangan would be able to bitch slap Gordon Ramsay even with their arms tied behind their backs. I have heard about the reputation of the Kapampangans when it comes to cooking, but it was only in APAG when it really hit me. The movie was a grand parade of Kapampangan culinary artistry. Yes, cooking is an art, and with how APAG showed their dishes, the big screen served as their canvas, and the audience can only wish they could come up with such delicacies. APAG is an extended treatise on guilt and forgiveness. We see people deal with remorse for their actions or lack of it. Coco Martin plays Rafael who accidentally kills a man when he hits the guy with their family's pickup. His father Alfredo, played by Lito Lapid, who was with Rafael when the accident happened, decides to cover up the case by admitting to the killing so his son could escape jail time. Jacqueline Jose plays the mother of Rafael, Elise, who tries to keep their family together despite the tragedy. Gladys Reyes plays the wife of the man who got killed and has to weigh whether she should seek vengeance or move on from the tragedy by dealing with Rafael's family. Director Brillante Mendoza manages to cook up performances from the cast that effectively convey their states of being. Coco Martin delivers one of his best performances yet as we see him grapple with the guilt of his sin and what we see is a subdued delivery that is marked by a sense of vulnerability. Here we see Martin's talent as an actor with a veteran director who knows how to draw the needed emotions from his actors. Dito Lapid's performance is also commendable as we see his character show a quiet acceptance of his fate. Jacqueline Jose, as always, is dependable with her trademark underacting utilized well as she tries to portray a sense of stability for the family. But the centerpiece of the acting table is none other than Gladys Reyes, whose soulful performance is marked by a perfect balance of helplessness and strength as she tries to hold everything together as her happy life crumbles around her. She deserves her acting award for this movie and I am sure she will be nominated in other award-giving bodies because of her impressive performance here. Unfortunately, the movie suffers from narrative flaws that could make the audience confused or make the twist at the end very predictable. At the midpoint of the movie, I got confused because of the choice made by the character of Gladys Reyes. I thought it was a fantasy sequence because of the sudden shift in the relationship between Reyes' family and Martin's. I felt there was a missing scene that would justify the new dynamic between the leads. The end is also predictable especially with how Mendoza makes the camera linger on certain characters. Looking back, I feel that the movie is kind of bloated considering what happens. To be honest about it, nothing much happened. It felt like an extended episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Everything could be cut down to an hour because that is about the worst in terms of minutes of the things that happened. I was also expecting a stronger connection between the dishes and the events happening but I didn't feel it. I was trying to see whether the dish that was being shown had a thematic connection to the scenes, whether the dishes had a symbolic meaning or whether they could serve as objective correlative to the movie but that could just be me being ignorant. Perhaps Mendoza could someday talk about the dishes shown in the movie, I would be looking forward to that. This movie had a lot of potential, if it got to tightly connect the events in the movie to the dishes it showed, it would have been more than what was presented but it wasn't able to do that. So it ends up being a visual feast but a lot of it is just filler. 
a leaner film would be much better. So that's the review for APAG, directed by Brillante Mendoza. This has been Kulas for Tambay Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.